Well, my first guest has been called many things. First Lady of the United States, mom, <laughs> author, push-up cheater, but I like to call her my friend. Please welcome Michelle Obama. Hi. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yes, they, they, hey, did, you. they didn't know you were here. This is You guys did not know. So uh, you're, uh, the book is fantastic. We're going to talk about the book, which is, uh, it, it, congratulations, it's doing Thank so you. well. It's a bestseller, and uh, all of your touring, uh, your, it, it, I mean, how, how long are you on stage when you do these dates, like at the forum? Well, we just did the first one uh, the other day with Oprah. Right. You can say Oprah in front of me. OK, yeah. all right. You know, sometimes you're a little touchy she's, about that. She's my friend, too, just, okay. you know. All right. Yeah. But we were, we, we talked for about 90 minutes. Oh, that's a good long time yeah, for people a good to long time. come see you. Yeah. 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 And then you're at the forum in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll yeah. be there. We'll, we're here. That's why we're here. Oh, I'm here yeah. to see you, but we're also, <laughs> we'll be at the no, forum. No, you're here to see me, and then I, coincidentally. And then there's the forum. Coincidentally. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, you, I read the book, and, and I, I know a lot of this, but it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to hear your, you know, really what your feelings were and how much your life changed when you entered the White House. And now it's been uh, almost two years. Yeah. And what, two years. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can't believe it's yeah. been that long. Mm -hmm. But how, how is, are you feeling like you're uh, completely different now or did it happen the first night? You know, it, no, no. I mean, things have, because a lot of what makes you feel different is the security and we still have security and we've just seen recently that we sadly still need security um so i still have agents and i can't drive um but we live in a regular house <laughs> i have a doorbell uh <laughs> i open my door you answer the door i answer my door yeah. my friends are still like what are you doing here <laughs> and it's like this is my house i yeah. answer the door so we're we're living a normal life but we still live in kind of a bubble yeah which is which is difficult, you know. We were talking about that. Like it, it really, your life changes the moment that he is elected president. It's not when you move into the White House immediately. I describe it as being shot out of a cannon because there. So you're running for years, and you know, for me, I sort of thought he's not gonna win. <laughs> you know, like a lot of people, it's like we're gonna give it a good old try. <laughs> And then I was thinking that the conversation would be, honey, you did so good. <laughs> Let's go back home to our normal life, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh, and then he won. Uh, and we were all shocked. My mom was sort of looking at, it's like, what? What is going on? Um, but the minute you become president-elect, the security changes. So you are basically the commander-in-chief to be. So. We have all the security, the motorcade changes. Um, there are men with guns and black suits and different codes that you have, and that happens overnight. Uh, and then you have a very short time to transition your complete life. So we had to move from our house in Chicago, something that we hadn't fully really planned. Yeah. Uh, find new schools for the girls, settle into not just uh, the position of, of first family, but you had to build your set staff, develop a transition team. You had to figure out what your initiatives were going to be. And that's all before inauguration happens. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a, a whirlwind. Yeah, that's what the book is filled with, you know, before, like you said, you didn't think he, you didn't want him to run. You wanted your husband. Um, you talk about uh, then when, you know, he did win, it was a surprise. You talk about a lot of things. You mentioned me only once. And, um, <laughs> So, um, I don't understand. I wasn't counting. Yeah. But no, I mentioned you, Ellen. Once. Once. And, <laughs> and you say in here you won at the, the push-up contest. So and, I, and I, I can did. sue for libel. Now that you put it in, <laughs> now you put it in writing, you know. We have the clips of um, me defeating you. Yeah, I know. Look how high up she is. Look how low down Look I went. Look how long my arms are. Yeah, doesn't matter. All right. All right. I want to read something, because you really do, you talk are about... Are you going to read the right text? Yes. OK. Yeah. This is not... You're not going to make something up that's no, not in the book? No, this is in the book. OK. Because this I'll is... I'll let you know. This is about your first kiss. You talk about oh, okay. your first kiss. Mm -hmm. With who? <laughs> well... <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> All right. I arranged my first kiss. In fact, over the phone. It was with a boy named 
Ronell. Ronald? Ronell. Ronell. That's a black Ronald. Uh, <laughs> Ronell. <laughs> say like that, say Ronell. Ronell. I don't remember which one of us proposed that we meet outside my house one afternoon to give kissing a try, but there was no nuance to it, no shy euphemisms needed to be applied. We weren't gonna hang out or take a walk. We were gonna make out. <laughs> and we were both all for it. How old were you there? Uh, eighth grade. Eighth grade. <laughs> da -da. Now, <laughs> is he, is he, uh, do you know where he is now? Uh, I'm sure someone will find him. Uh-huh. <laughs> now. Ron no, L. we don't know where he is. Ron L. I we mean, tr I tried not to use last names so people wouldn't be harassed for the rest of their lives. I told this story very early on about my very, very first kiss, which was Teddy in nursery school. And the press hunted that poor guy down. <laughs> and I vowed never to mention anybody else's uh, last name. Well, so. because you talk, you've been with a lot of men. There's a, there's a lot of, uh... <laughs> Yeah. There's... That is not true. Oh, yeah, there's... You sh That's not in I the mean, book. I mean, yeah, you, you read it a lot of men, so... Um... <laughs> All right, we're back with uh, the former First Lady Michelle Obama, the amazing Michelle Obama. Uh, we miss you so much. We miss you so much. You're not here often enough. We need to we need to see <clears throat> more of you. But I know we will because you're you're starting these. I'm out there now. All right, I know. I like <laughs> it. Um, so in the book, you talk about uh, Malia going to prom. Oh yeah. Which is I just can't even imagine. Yeah. Uh, Let's set the stage. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, their whole lives were spent trying to have a normal life, <laughs> go to soccer matches and birthday parties and sleepovers and have kids come over, with a security detail. Um, so then prom comes, and Malia asks, can I please ride with my date in his car? Because at that point, they had never driven in another person's car for security reasons. They have to, kids could ride in their car, but they couldn't accept a ride from someone else. So everything in their lives is now a discussion. We have to pull in security, we have to talk to the chief of staff, talk to the communications director, and we decide, my thing was, she's got to ride in the car with her prom date. You know, I mean, come on, people. Uh, so she gets to ride. So he comes to pick her up. Uh, <laughs> poor kid. And uh, uh, he's got to come through the official uh, driveway that dignitaries come when we are, when state visits happen around the, the South Lawn, that long driveway up to the front door of, of our home, which is like the dip room. We're coming down the elevator um, because you know, we're in the elevator, me and Barack and, and Malia, and she's like, just be cool, you know? <laughs> it's like, please don't embarrass me. She looked beautiful. I mean, oh, is she just a, was a vision, is a vision. And, and Barack's trying not to cry, and he's trying to act cool. And we greet the young man in a nice tux, and, you know, God knows what happened to him getting in, because I tried to make security know he's coming, don't hassle him. I told Malia, make sure his car is clean, <laughs> if you know what I mean, because dogs sniff the car. I said, I don't want him to be embarrassed. Um, <laughs> so I was, a, I said, I don't know the kid, but you know, I, he, he's picking up at a different house. <laughs> um, I had met him, but I didn't know him, know him. Um, so he comes in, and you can tell he's a little nervous. Um, and we shake his hand, take a picture. Uh, and they get in the car, and they go off, and then, like, three cars follow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like them, and then three cars, with men with guns. And Barack was like, this makes running for a second term all worthwhile. My daughter is being followed by men with guns. <laughs> yeah. <to climb." laughs> He's like, I'm good. So. Well said. All right. We're back with Michelle Obama, and uh, so he's, she's on a, a huge book tour, and uh, the whole thing is sold out. Uh, within minutes, the whole tour sold out. Uh, but we thought we would, you could always use a little help. So uh, yes. we would surprise uh, you with a book signing. So, uh, and we went someplace that people do, they don't usually go to sign books, but um, we went to Costco. <laughs> It's the first time I've seen my book in a store. It's here. You're going to sign books. We have a Michelle Obama book. <laughs> Michelle.
Michelle Obama. She'll be signing books. How are you? What's your name? I'm Sophia. Sophia. Hi, Sophia. You got your book? You'll start reading it when you get home. Ellen, you can't sign my book. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Oh, wait, wait. OK, so now you have to make a choice. Do you want an Ellen signed Michelle Obama book or a Michelle Obama signed Michelle Obama book? What if you get both of our signatures? That would be fantastic. Why, why is your signature bigger than mine on my book? The heck? Free, oh, right. free samples. Anybody want a free sample? What's your name? Sure. Here's a free sample for you. Okay. What is your name? What's your name? You, Michelle, what, what did you put in here? Oh my God. What? Michelle, you can't get that? Look at her. She does a lot of book signings, so she gets a little, you know. That's crazy. You can't. I'm sorry. Don't don't even act like that happened. All right. Okay. What's your okay. name? Gina. To G G G I N A. G I N A. Yes. To Gina. Here's my book. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Gina. Gina. Did you want Ellen's book too? Yes. yes of yeah. Of course. You don't have to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What, did, what? What did you? I didn't say what? anything. Oh. What aisle is the foot fungus medicine on? <laughs> Michelle is asking for foot fungus medicine. I don't need foot fungus <laughs> no? medicine. I, no. So I came for lunch. I got her lunch. Oh. 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 Are you sure are you, you only want the thirty pack? <laughs> I don't need that much toilet paper. I'm good. We're good. Why do you say one thing to me qu quietly and then act like you didn't say it? OK, and this one as well? My mom. L-I-L-A. For those of you who can't get here, I'm going to read a tiny bit of her book so that you can see what is inside. He took her by the waist and pulled her flesh That's against his chest. There's only one thing this woman needs. That's not my book. Oh. <laughs> there. What book was that? I don't know. Stop reading from my book. <laughs> Emma. Emma. I okay. No, no. <laughs> when they go low, we get high. <laughs> when they go low, we get high. That's what she's not in. All right. Put that down. You're going to get that up your nose, and then you'll be sorry. You're going to get up your nose. Thanks so much. You want me to sign a book to you? Sherry. S H A A R I A F S C H A E I O R I O I O U. Step on up. Thank you very much. When I say Michelle, you say Pfeiffer. Michelle. Michelle. Pfeiffer. You thought I was going to say Pfeiffer. They got me on that one. All right. What's your name? Stop signing. I'm helping. That's and then you just sign your name. That's messy. No, no, I'll do it for you. You spelled it wrong. Well, you would have spelled it wrong too had she not said that. L I L L A M. C. And second name is A. L I L L I A M. Okay, you are. Don't confuse her now. I'm helping her. This is not helpful. All right, you know what? Here's you do it by yourself then. This is, it's better that way. How are you guys? And what's your name? Monica. Monica. Right, M O N I C A. No, I won't no, say we're anything. Keep oh my God! If you, if... I'm sitting so much. Yeah, that could be a problem. I did not. We don't need no, We no? don't need this. Thank no, you. thank you. Hi. And what's your name? My name is Cheryl. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> can't take her anywhere, can you, Michelle? You can't. She'll be coming around on the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around. Come on, we're, I, you know, I've learned comes. to ignore her. She'll There's be coming around on the mountain. She'll be coming around on the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Get it for coming. Oh, okay. Coming okay. Well, we'll change it. She'll be coming. coming. You should emphasize it more. She plays. Oh, she plays. No, I don't yes, really she does. play. She says in the book, this is not like a regular piano. You should. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Michelle Obama. What's your name? Michelle Do you really? Obama wrote a book. She mentions Oprah names? several times. And the only one. Okay, wait. Michelle wrote a book. 
mentioning Opa too many times, but <laughs> me only once. Oh. One time she mentions me, but only once. <laughs> right. To All Maya. right, everybody, this has been fun. Uh, I miss Michelle. So I miss Michelle. I miss the Obamas. We miss Obama. We hope Michelle's foot fungus clears up. So you talk about in the book also the night that gay marriage passed, and this is uh, a great story. Yeah. Um, it, the, one of the interesting things, I, I bring it up to talk about just how uh, vastly different one day could be uh, in, in the White House during our administration. And the day that Barack and I went to the funeral um, where he, you know, uh, famously sang Amazing Grace, we were at that funeral. But we flew back, and that same day, uh, marriage equality was passed. And <laughs> that same day. And we're in the White House, and when you're in the residence, there's so much bulletproof glass that sometimes you don't hear what's going on outside. And we were having dinner, and we were, you know, listen. We knew that there was celebration happening. But we didn't realize that people, thousands of people were gathering in front of uh, the White House at that time to celebrate. And my staff was calling me, and everybody was celebrating, and people were crying. And I thought, I want to I wanna be in that, you know? Also, we had uh, worked to make sure that the White House was lit up in the uh, LGBT colors. So the lighthouse was... It was so beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. So we had made that plan, and I was sitting and watching it on TV and realizing I'm living this. I said, I have to break out of this. I want to go outside, and I want to be a part of that celebration. So I had the bright idea, I'm going outside, okay? <laughs> so I tried to find some partners. So I went to Barack's <laughs> office, and I said, we should go outside. And he was like, babe, I've got too much stuff to do. I can't go out. And he's like, you know I can't walk outside. Come on, laugh, get out of my office. <laughs> yeah, I go to Malia, I said, you want, I go to Sasha, I said, you want to come outside with me and see the house? It's colors, let's celebrate. And she's like, no, I'm watching. <laughs> um, I went to Malia's room and I said, come on, go with me. And she says, okay, I'm down. So it's me and Malia. And we're trying to get out of the White House. <laughs> and realize that it's not that easy to get out of the White House when you're in it. But we were determined, and I said, we are not listening to anyone. We are going to walk out that door, you and me. So you come out of the residence, and there's an elevator. And there's usually an agent right there. And when you come out, they whisper, you know, our code names, they're moving. And I'm like, dig, they know we're moving. It's like, let's not take the elevator. Come on, you and me, go down the stairs. So we rush down the stairs. And you can <laughs> see the agent thinking, why are they running? <laughs> And he doesn't quite know what to do, so he starts following us. And I'm like, run faster, run faster. And we go down the steps. And we go to the front door, the North Portico do door, which faces Pennsylvania Avenue. And I, I'm just thinking, I'm going to walk out. So we go to the door, and the door is locked. So now there are many people behind us, the uniformed policeman, the usher who's in charge of the house. And they don't know what to do, right? And they're like, uh, ma'am, where are you going? I say, I'm going out. I'm going, I'm, we're going out. We're going outside. <laughs> and they're watching because, and they're calling in more people. She's trying to get out. She's trying to get out. <laughs> and Malia's like, she's pumped up. She's like, we're going to do this, mom. You get out. You get out. But the door is locked. And then the usher says, ma'am, um, if you walk out there, you will be on camera in front of the nation. Now, I'm in ripped up shorts and, you know, a T-shirt, no shoes on, no makeup. And I thought, hmm, you have a point. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to be on that clip looking like this. But eventually, the happy news was that we got out. We, Malia and I walked outside. It took 15 minutes <laughs> to get outside. And we stood along with all the cheering crowd off to the side, mind you, <laughs> so no one would see us with security surrounding us. And we tried to have our tender mother-daughter moment. But we just took it in. I held her tight. And 
my feeling was, see where this, is. we are moving forward. You know, change yeah. is happening. That's beautiful. So. That's so good. <laughs> All right. We have to take a break, but just really quickly. Uh, so you've been to uh, three inaugurations, right? You say you went to... Uh, two of ours. Two of yours. And, and then one you, of someone else's. One of someone else's. <laughs> you, you went to Trump's. Uh, <laughs> so, so you had pretty good seats at all of those. Yeah. Who had a bigger crowd? Could you tell? Mm -hmm. uh, if... <laughs> I could tell. All yeah, right. I could tell. You could tell? Mm hmm All right. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be back. <laughs> we are back with Michelle Obama, and we have learned a lot about you in this book, but we have a few more questions, and so we thought we would play a quick round of burning questions. <laughs> Who was your first celebrity crush? Jermaine Jackson of the Jackson Fives. And let me explain, okay. because most people were, they, they had a crush on Michael. That's right. And I was young, I, I liked the older Jermaine. Mm. Yeah, I was in the, the older man. I think I was seven. Wow. <laughs> Tell us something you stole from the White House. <laughs> we had to pay for everything. That's in the book. <laughs> I know you stole stuff. I did. I stole, well, the napkins that, that were in the bathroom. Do you still have them? No. What did you do with them? I don't know. <laughs> um, do your best Barack Obama impression. Oh, well, let me tell you, I have, I have three points. Uh, <laughs> one, and then there's two, and finally, a three. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. You didn't do your best Barack Obama impression. Oh, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I don't, I don't really do impressions. <laughs> I'm really bad at impressions. <laughs> Besides your family, who would you like to go on a road trip with? Uh, <laughs> Ellen. Ah, uh, really? That's so yeah. sweet. <laughs> you didn't answer it? Yeah, Michelle. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Where would we go? Um, I don't know. Where would you want to go? We should travel across America. Yeah, we should. Yeah, Let's travel across, good. let's you and I do it. Yeah. <laughs> because I gotta tell you, uh, she keeps me the, in, in this crazy world when I'm freaking out and stressed and going, what's happening? She uh, texts me the most positive, optimistic things and keeps me balanced because- so I could show you how much you don't have to worry about. I know. Well, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is called Becoming, and it's available in bookstores and online. It is a fantastic book. 